Dice, you hear them in my hand? Yes. It reminds me of a story I've got to tell you about Dice. There's a fan on our website called Sean Bentley from USA who says his favourite item in my collection are the non transitive dice, these things here. We've had them, well, I've had them in my collection for many years now. They've got a very peculiar property which is highly entertaining when you're doing something perhaps um, at a table or with a pub or with friends at a party. All you do is you get someone to choose any of the three and then you choose another one and the best of ten throws wins and you win most of the time. But something clever is going on because you can make him win when you tell him the secret of it. However, in Saul's letter, he said that um, he's got some interesting dice that he's now made which uh, he wants to send us, and he, so he did. And here's the result. These are extraordinary for a side. They're four-sided dice, not six-sided dice, as most dice are. And look at the shapes, extraordinary. And they've got nice logos on it. it says, for instance, there's our logo here for Grand Illusions. And when I looked at the shape, I thought, I know that shape. Oh, yes, of course, solids of constant width. And sure enough, the letter said, yes, these are shapes like those solids of constant width, um, so there's something very special about them. So let's have a go at showing that they are solids of constant widths. When I put it on the, and roll it gently around like that, they stay the same height all the time and I can then spin it like that and I can then spin it backwards. Oh goodness. Very clever idea. The first dice I've ever come across which are solids of constant widths. What a lovely idea. What a superb concept of his. I will see if I can get him to send me a set as well too. Wow!